shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. What's up YouTube? This is your boy Chris out in the Caliente garage and in this video I will be demonstrating to you how I actually connect my hotwired 2.0 heated suit. The hotwired 2.0 is sold as cycle gear but this model is on clearance because cycle gear has came out with a new model called the hotwired Evo but in this video I will be demonstrating how to connect the 2.0 heated suit only. I have the heated jacket liner, I have the heated pants liner, I have the heated gloves, and the heated foot insoles. To the left of the table, the controller with the even plugs is for the jacket. The controller with the long single plug and the short connector is for the pants and we have the Y adapter. To the left is my trusty jump start that we'll be pretending is the battery on my motorcycle. Looking at the uh, connection, the red is the positive, the black is the negative and we want to connect that directly to the battery. We do not want to connect to a fuse outlet because on the connector you have a fuse located in line so whenever you're connecting your heated gear 2.0 you want to connect directly to the battery you do not want to connect to a fuse outlet this is the terminal that will be uh, coming from the battery on the motorcycle one of the first things I'm going to do is connect the jacket. Remember the controller with the even plugs is for the jacket. Opening up the jacket. On the left side underneath is the plug connector. I want to go ahead and plug in. It's self-explanatory. You have a male and a female and you want to just plug it in on the bottom of the jacket. Plug it in like so. Velcro. Now the jacket is connected. Now that I have the jacket controller connected, now I'm going to plug it in to the battery. When I plug it in, Correctly, I will get a flashing light at the top of the controller. Here we go. If you saw it blinked, that lets you know that this jacket is properly connected to the battery. I can turn it on by holding the power button. Max, high, medium, and low. This is how you connect just the jacket only to the battery or the motorcycle. Looking at the top of the pants, you have a connector coming out the top. You want to plug one in to the controller and this end actually plugs to the battery. So if you want to power just the pants only, just the pants only, I'm going to plug it in off of the battery. If it's plugged in correctly, I'm going to get a, a light flashing on the front. Here we go. I'm going to do it again in case you guys didn't see it. If it's plugged in correctly to the battery, I'm going to get lights flash on the front. Here we go. Now, I have just the pants connected to the battery. I can turn it on by holding the power button, max 
high, medium, and low. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to connect the pants and the jacket together. Now, I have to integrate the wire adapter because the jacket and the pants will be running off of the battery. I take my Y adapter, plug one in to the Y, which is the pants liner. I'm going to take the jacket and plug it in to the other end of the Y. Okay. Now I have the jacket and the pants liner connected together. If it's connected properly, when I plug it in, I will get the lights to flash once. Here we go. Here we go. That lets you know that the jacket and the pants is now connected together. I can turn on both controllers. Now I can adjust the temperature setting. And this is how you connect the jacket and the pants together. Both controllers are on. Next, I want to tie in the foot insoles to the pants liner. Going to the bottom of the, the pants liner, you have a single plug on each leg. I'm going to plug each foot insole into the bottom of the pants liner. There is no controller for the foot insoles. It runs completely off the powered pants. Next, I'm going to tie in the gloves to the jacket. If you look on each sleeve, you have a plug. Plug one in on the bottom of the glove. On the second sleeve is a wire. I'm going to plug it into the gloves and when I plug it in, this hot wire light will turn red once. Here we go. When the jacket is connected properly to the gloves, when I turn it on, I will get a red power LED to each glove, and I will also get power LEDs to the controllers. I'm going to turn it on. Here we go. And as you can see, the gloves flashed, and this is how you connect the heated gear together. The gloves is connected to the jacket. The pants is connected to the jacket liner. The foot insoles is connected to the pants liner. It may seem a little bit confusing, but hopefully you guys get it. It's real simple. You can either run the jacket by itself, you can run the pants by itself, or you can run the jacket with just the gloves, or you can run the gloves, the jacket, the pants, and the foot and soles. This is your boy Chris out in the Caliente garage showing you guys how to connect the hot wire 2.0 heated jacket, the 2.0 heated pants liner, the foot and soles, and the heated gloves. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya. You. You're going to see the controllers all light up if it's connected properly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the jacket. I'm just going to go with a, a high setting. Turn on the gloves. I'm going to go with the medium setting. 